What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And as you guys can tell by the title, I finally got some stuff for the Civic. Um, there's two things, there were supposed to be three, but um, one of the things that I ordered, which was the carbon fiber license plate, I even mentioned it in the pre previous video, I was like, I'm gonna get it. But I ordered it, or I was going to order it from Saibon, but they didn't have it in stock. So I ordered it from Redline something, I can't remember it. And I thought they had it in stock, like, because they're um, like a distributor. I forgot the specific term, but I ordered it. And then like three days later, they told me they didn't have it. So I just got a refund. And I was like, yeah, I finally got it. But like three days later, they were like, oh, they hit me with the news. So I was like, oh, whatever. The first thing is I have it turned over because I don't want you guys to see my address. But this is how it comes. It's just closed. Um, it's a screen protector for my car. So I was talking for a while. And then whenever I emptied it out, I just noticed there was a, what's it called? uh like a receipt with my address on there so i mean now i gotta i don't know i gotta remember what i said but i had been wanting it for a while and i just never bought it because i don't know i, I don't have a reason i was just being lazy it was only like 13 bucks it's not even expensive but i got one and it comes with two i also got yellow fog light um led bulbs i had been wanting them for a while and i think i or i mentioned it in the the stuff that i have done to my car that i try to put um like yellow film over it and just that didn't work out so i was like yeah i'm gonna just buy the leds so i got these and we're gonna go put them on today so obviously what you want to do first is clean the screen so you just peel the one first which is a heat the adhesive side and then you peel the number two off so apparently like you gotta start on this side what I was planning to do is, um, what's it called? Starting on this side, because if you get this right, like if you can get it pretty even, then the rest is going to be fine. But if you start here and you mess up, you know, it's going to suck. I took the the first part off, the sticky part that allows you to stick it to the screen. And I got it pretty good. I would recommend starting at the bottom, like if you can line it up nice here. Or use this. I use this. I try to get it like centered right here. And if you get that, like, I mean, it all falls into place. I just did this and then I, I kind of let it fall. And half of it was luck and half of it was me actually trying to um, line it up nice. But I'm going to take the, the front off. You guys might want to, um, like, press down on it and be careful here. Make sure you guys don't, like, get the rag in there and then you can lift it up and messes up the screen protector. I forgot to mention that it's um, matte. So I don't know if you guys don't like that. I don't know if they sell one that isn't matte, but I like it. I have it on my Mac and then I had it on my phone. But, like, it reduces, uh, what's it called, like, the clarity a little bit. And on my Mac, I don't really care because it's more for protection. And then on my phone, like I use the phone all the time. So it's like I took it off and everything works fine, guys. Like the the touch works nice. Um, You know, it doesn't mess with the with anything. So it's pretty good. These are the fog lights. And I'll also um, put these in the description below if you guys want to go buy them. So here's the actual like LED bulb. They're supposed to just like clip right into where the original ones are. And they're supposed to be really bright yellow. So I'm gonna go see if it's if that's true. For the fog lights, if I'm not wrong, there's only four. I don't know if it'll work, but there's like four. I think it, yeah, it's ten millimeters. There's one here. I don't know if you guys can see one here. There's one here, one here, and then there's one here. I don't know if you guys can see, but if you guys look like right under where the fog light is, you guys will um see the. Oh, my car is super dirty. If you guys look like right under where the fog light is in the bottom, you guys will see the screws. There's one here and then there's one over here next to it. And there's one in the back and then there's another one over here. So there's four total and they're, they're 10 millimeters, I believe. So after you guys remove the four screws, um, there's actually two little pins that you guys got, got to take out. It's this one and then there's this one. These are pretty noticeable. You guys will see them as soon as you guys get under the car. So. Just get something that fits in a little groove and then you can pop them out and then you should, you should get access to the fog light. I'm not sure if it's different on every car because I saw a guy do it on a hatch and he only took three screws off, but I had to take this one off too. So there's that. I don't know if it's different, but then you can't see because it's dark, but I'm going to use my light and you should see the fog light in there. I didn't see this at first when I was doing it, but um, I'm just letting you guys know wherever the arrow is you're supposed to like it's like a little push pin or like a push down something i don't know what it's called but you guys push down on it and then it's kind of like you guys kind of gotta press hard 
or else it won't like unclip good, but you guys press down hard and then you just pull down and then the clip should un, um, like the wire should unclip. So here's the, the one that came off the car. It's just the regular one. And then here's uh, the one that I bought. So I'm gonna put it in and then I'm gonna see if it works. So I just put it on. Now I'm gonna see if they actually work. I don't think the camera picks it up too good right now, especially cause it's in the, the daytime. But dang, these are like super bright guys. They're like extremely bright. And then it's extremely yellow too. So this is the original one. And then here's the yellow one. You can't see it. I'll, I'll um, record a video at night it's almost gonna the sun's gonna go down it's gonna be nighttime but i have a picture of whenever it was night and the car was um had the lights on so i'll post those pictures too but this is bright so same thing on this side guys you take off this screw this one this one there should be one right here Can't, that's the fourth one there's one two three and the fourth one and then this one and then you kind of just have to force this thing out but that's all there is to it and then that's it so it's kind of late it's not exactly like pitch dark but it's pretty late so here's the car um it's like when you unlock it the lights turn on so i don't have it on but it's the same thing. Here's the lights, guys. It's They're pretty bright. Whenever I was on the way here, I couldn't tell if they were on. I thought, I was like, oh, they messed up or something. But, I mean, they're here. They are. They're, they're pretty bright. I like them. It's way better than having the, just the, what's it called? The tint over them. This is how it looks from the inside, guys. Like I'm saying, you can't really see unless you look, like, over, like, like really up here. But they're on. You'll see them when, um, when you're driving. Other people will see them. I have the stock ones right here. I wouldn't throw them away, guys, because let's say one messes up. You can replace them and put the stock ones back on until you either just buy a new pair or if you want to keep these on, then you can just keep them on. But don't throw those away. And then that's how the card looks, guys. I like it. It looks way better. I have been wanting these for a long time, and they're not even expensive. Um, they're like 20, 28, I think. They were less than 30 bucks, and I spent like 13 bucks or 12 bucks on the film. So, you know, I should have just bought them since the beginning, but whatever. But yeah, guys, I'll link um, down below the lights and then the screen protector. And then I'm sad that I didn't get my carbon fiber license plate, but you know, whenever they um they in, they put them in stock, I'll buy them. Other than that, that's been the video, guys. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.